Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here at my test field, and we're going to take the... Uh, I'm going to try to get out of the wind here a little bit. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to take the spark up. we got a little bit of wind, but we're going to test the uh, drop hook on it. So I've already checked hover. I'm all good to go. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take it up, and uh, we're going to attach the line. Okay, so everything's set. So it's uh, buffeting a little bit of a wind, but what I have is the... Uh, I've set up the, the bit of a lasso, and I've got a brass nut at the end of it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach... Well, I'm going to take it up a little bit higher so it's easier to reach. And... Uh, Okay, so that's interesting. The hand sensor, the uh, bottom sensor wants to pick it up. Okay, so we have it on there. And uh, it, actually, the design of that worked out pretty well. Uh, because again, it's back behind the sensor. So you kind of got to loop it in from behind to keep from that sensor. And you see how it's pulling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply take this out. And uh, I'm not going to go too crazy here. I'm just kind of demonstrating it. And you see the line, how it's pulling the line. I'll take it up a little bit. And it's almost got the line out there. And okay, so you see how it's got the line pulled? Uh, hopefully... Uh, Apologies again for a bit of the wind noise. So now you see how I have it up there? Now if I yaw it, and you see a drop. So uh, let's, let's try that over again. I'm going to take it back in, and I'm going to try that once more. Okay, so again, I would suggest prop guards on this. Be careful, there's a lot of wind. So it's kind of hard to loop this string down around underneath of it. But there you go. And again, I don't think you could do too big of a fishing lure on this. Uh, let's move it out this way. But, but it, you see it holds on actually pretty good. I want to move it out a little bit away from me. Ah, see, now I stopped it. It popped off. I stopped pretty quick. So let's go ahead and put that on again. So you pretty much want to... Ah, I got my hand underneath it. Is now okay? I'm going to take this back up and out. And uh, you can see the, the tension on the string holding it. And again, I want to kind of get so you guys can see this. Again, apologies for the wind noise. Now, see if I can't get it. But now I just rotate the copter and yaw. And boom, it pops off. So, uh, that was even going forward in that, that direction. So, um, I think, uh, let me see if I can't get back out of the wind a little bit. So, let's, uh, let's come up take a little bit of a closer look. So again, I think that I think that'll actually work for surf fishing or other drop type activities. Um, so I, I'm pretty happy with that. If you guys have tried this, and again, uh, I'm only doing this. This is my experimentation. If you do anything like this, be very careful. I also suggest prop guards uh, if you're going to be doing this too. And matter of fact, I don't even suggest doing this. So. Uh, but uh, anyways, I found this kind of interesting. Hopefully you did too. So hey, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm thinking about doing one of these up for the Phantom 3 too. So uh, let me know. Uh, what's for lunch today? I think salami. That's the ticket. Cheers. See you guys in the next video.